everyone this is v buzzing with v today i'm making a card stand with scrapdivadesigns.com the card stand size is approximately five and five eighths of an inch by three and three fourths of an inch the die set comes with seven pieces this is all of the information for scrapdivadesigns.com all the links will be linked below Follow the hashtag to gain more inspiration from other talented crafters. And I do have a discount code for you. It's V10%. That's V-E-E-1-0 -E -E and the percent side. Here I'm showing you all of the layers that you will get with this die set. This is the uh, first layer. It has a heart uh, detail on it. And um, you also get another layer that is a solid layer as well as the base so you have the option to switch out you could do solid or you can do the decorative side of this die so i chose to do a solid so um i like it because this die is versatile i can use it for valentine's as well and other holidays as well so let's go ahead and get started i do have my vase and i have everything all pre-cut already uh, i did uh pre-cut everything so everything has been cut i am using the leaves from the flower die set i'm also using the flowers from the foam flower die set and the foam flower die set is called foam flower bundle it comes with 18 pieces so um, i'm showing you here on the right what you get so you get the flowers different sizes as well as the leaves so here i'm also showing you that i'm using the cupcake uh, shaker memory dex card it comes with 16 pieces what i'm using from this is the strawberry and so i I, I have noticed that I keep gravitating to this die set. So it's one of my favorites right now. Um, well, since last year, because I do tend to go back to it. So here I'm going to glue the layered piece onto the base. I am using hot glue. You can use Barely Arts if you'd like. Um, I'm going to do the same thing to the inner part of the card stand. So I did do some stitching off camera for the borders of those layering pieces. So all you have to do is just uh, glue that on and you're all set to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a ruler. I'd like to use a ruler on all the score lines just to get it right. Sometimes with um, dies, uh, when you want to fold, it tends to fold where the layering set is. So I didn't wanna do that, I, didn't, I wanted it to be all nice and clean cut and all of the score lines folded properly and so here i'm showing you that i'm just doing that here making sure everything is set right i am liking how it looks so far and next i'm going to grab the strawberries as well as the leaves and the um the flowers excuse the scratches on my arm my cat so that's what happened there. Let's go ahead and glue all of the pieces down. So I've already thought this out and I already have an idea of what I want to do for this. As it was all in my mind and hopefully it will come out in real life. So what I want to do here is place all of the leaves on the middle of the card stand like so. And I'm putting three leaves, so one on top, one in the middle, one on the side, as well as two strawberries. So I'm using two different colors, the darker pink and the lighter pink. Um, I believe this, uh, so I'm using multiple cardstock collections. So uh, for the leaves, that is carousel. I am using the amazing mint paper, specialty paper that comes in that uh, paper pack. Um, as far as the strawberries, that is Sweet Story by Maggie Holmes. And this is what it looks like so far. I also want to show you that I did use some double-sided foam tape and I needed that to layer the strawberries uh, because of the three pieces the three leaves that were um, 
are around that strawberry. So uh, I each side is the same. I try to get it the same. And so now I'm going to decorate the spine and I'm going to do it very simple. I'm just going to add some leaves and strawberries to the top of that spine. So very simple. I did want to go all out and put some charms that, or and whatnot. Also some beads. However, I kept it very simple. I think with this, uh, simple is best. And so I just stuck with the leaves and the strawberries and just made that the focal point here. The background that I have on the cardstock, that specialty paper is also carousel. I have been hoarding that for a while, so I figured I'd use it, and um, I thought that it would go very nicely with this card stand. Card stands are usually very neat and uh, glamorous. Well, most of them, if you want to have like that glamour look. So I went with that. Uh, this specialty paper is a a gold glittered uh, design on it and I just love it. So this is what it looks like. I'm keeping the inside plain so it just has the specialty paper. As you can see, leaves on the top are double uh, sided. So I did glue two pieces and glue them together and I, w I did that so the leaves would show green on the other side as well as the right side. So that is my stand there. I want to show you a memory decks card that I made. I made one of these back in January when the die first came out and I wanted to make one again. So it is an accordion memory decks berry basket and so inside the berry basket uh, you get um, two pieces as well as a liner piece. So that comes with six pieces total. I'm also using the a heart circle nesting set. It comes with six pieces and that's what I did for the bag topper. So I included a bag topper in this memory dex card. So it is an accordion one. So you could add anything that you'd like in the inside. So here I'm showing you what it looks like upright. And um, I just panned the camera down a little and added a backing so you wouldn't see my messy desk. <laughs> and wanted to show you all of the details on this card stand. Well, you guys, um, if you want to see the memory decks card that I made in January, just like this one, I will have that video linked below. So this concludes the video. Check out all the links below. Any questions, just leave them in the comments section and I'd be glad to help. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next video. Bye.